yes, me, uh, Beyonce took my birthday. We're birthday twins. <laughs> okay, let's see. Holly, I know you're not able to talk love. Let me know how is your process going and do you have a projected launch date? Everybody that's on Facebook, I want you guys to drop down your guys' projected launch dates because I'm, I'm writing it down, okay? Uh, I'm writing it down so that way I can check in with everybody to make sure that we are sticking to these launch dates, like live or not, right? My goal for the month of September and for the rest of the year is to like be more diligent with like providing information and posting uh, content on YouTube. So I'm like, I'm going to post a new video every single day. And basically I've been getting all of you guys' questions and I'm answering all of those questions, right? And last night it was just not working. I like, my laptop was going slow. YouTube was tripping. My video wasn't edited, you know, up. It was just everything, right? And I could have stopped. And I was like, I, I've learned, the, I've learned, I've had to learn that done is better than perfect. And it was like at 1 a.m., you know, I was, I'm such a perfectionist. I really wanted it to be like on September 1st, but it was like technically on September 2nd at 1 a.m. But I posted it anyways, right? Um, so done is better than perfect, right? We're, we're not gonna have any perfect business. None of my business has ever been perfect. We're gonna constantly be growing and evolving, but I want you guys to drop down your projected launch dates and to try, right? And not let anything stop you from launching that date. Like, like, Ready or not, here I come. Ready or not, here I come. We are live and we are moving forward. And everything that has to be changed, edited, fixed, added will continue to be always be there, right? Because the more you learn in this business, like you're gonna learn so much your first couple of weeks and months in this business. You're gonna be able to create your own policy procedure. You're gonna be able to create your own, you know, SOPs. You're gonna be able to create your own best practices um, that works best for your business. So I see a launch date that says 99. Nine. Naomi is 99. Nine. That is next Friday. Is that next Friday? Okay, Naomi is 99. Nine. Holly is saying September 23rd. Nine twenty-three. Okay, who else is live that can drop their Courtney says nine nineteen. Oh, I thought I had that down. Nine nine nineteen. September twenty-third. Awesome. I have more to do work. I have more to do working on the insurance and other things. Okay, awesome. Awesome. Okay, you guys, it's out there. So I'm gonna be holding you guys accountable. Cassandra, Ashley, are y'all still on the Facebook group? If you guys are, oops, get out of there. If you guys are, drop your guys. And Ashley, just drop a projected live uh, launch date because I know you just came in the group and getting ready for the next challenge session. And Miss L.Y., I'm so sorry, I do not want to mispronounce your name. Miss L.Y., love of you, do you have a projected launch date? How things are going in your business? Okay. Shane, do you have another question? Is that hand raised for like a new question or was this from the previous? If you do, you can go. I, oh, okay, yes. Yeah, I, the, I had a question. Is this challenge right here, is it the previous challenge or the new challenge that started? <laughs> this is the previous challenge. Okay, because when I heard you say that um, you was going to do it one more day and I'm like, did I miss something? <laughs> I know and, and I, I needed to change the email because I think now it's like when somebody signs up for the challenge it sends them like the automatic email with the link to the challenge group um so I'm just gonna I'm just gonna put you uh so you're just gonna get you know extra information <laughs> okay but 
Um, I haven't posted it yet, but I'm going to be changing the launch date, not the launch date, the start date for the challenge for the next one is going to start on October 7th because okay. I'm trying to give people more time to join, um, especially like with this, this price structure, how things are now um, after October 7th things will be changing. So I want to give people a little bit more time to plan and kind of put their funds in order to be able to get in. Okay, gotcha. Yes. Hey, Sherry, how are you? Tell me how things are going in with your business. And then we're going to start. Um, I'm going to do some training on booking Koala and Gusto this evening. And if you guys, I'm going to, I'm going to start preparing those screens. And if you guys have any questions, um, please ask them. Okay. Do you, you guys, all, them, sorry, oh, go ahead. Um, when you were talking to um, one of the ladies, you mentioned having sort of been like a one-stop shop for services yes. so for example if we're doing residential cleaning and then we put an add-on for um carpet cleaning and then I find the carpet cleaner um how do we then negotiate the pay because then it's going to be split three ways right um, no, it would still be split the same so you can do it one or two ways um, if you're planning to partner with like an outside entity, you can either do like a referral rate, kind of like, Hey, if we refer services to you, we get 20% of the total job amount. Right. Mm -hmm. Um, or it can be like, you can actually hire somebody as a contractor for your company. You would create your own price points for the carpet cleaning service, right? <clears throat> so whatever the carpet cleaning services cost. You would hire somebody to provide those services and then whatever, just whatever um, percentage split, like flat rate you pay them would be like what you, what you would decide to pay them. Okay. So if I got a, if, so there's a job that I just got, um, you know, for example, that I got, I just got a job. They need, they need house cleaning and carpet cleaning. So then. I would say the, the way you suggested subcontract, um, I see um, my carpet cleaner, send him to the address and then say it's a 50, I don't know if the job's a hundred dollars and then 50, 50 split. So I get, we both get 50% each. Is, is that the best way to go about it? Correct. Yeah. And then, but like whatever, now I don't, I don't know if you're like, the only thing I'm not sure of is if your percentage split would be the same as it would be for a house cleaning. That's my okay. only like unsure part. So like you would just, I, I would just talk to them. Um, like I said, unless you're planning to hire somebody, then I would, if you're just going to go through a company, I would just talk to them. And I, I would probably do like a referral, um, a referral split because I know if I can bring them business, they're going to refer me business. Um, and it'll just be a good business relationship. Like I was, when I was talking on Yelp, earlier, I would say, you know, the best way to maximize each client is by having additional add-on services, right? So you can literally turn a regular move-in and move-out cleaning to from a $300 job to a $700 job by just adding on additional services. So let's say you, they do, um, uh, what is it? Um, besides your own uh, add-ons of like oven, fridge, cleaning, uh, window cleaning, right? But like, let's say you, you partner with a moving company that does the moving and then somebody come does like the unpacking and packing for them. Um, and then let's say you have a handyman that'll come patch up holes and do all the things. Those, even if it's just $50 each additional service, that's an extra $150 attached to your company that you will get. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. So okay. um, that that's something that, is a good way to be able to maximize each potential client. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. Can you guys see this screen? Let me know if you guys can see this screen, if, if everything is showing up on your end. Okay. 
And then, um, oh, Katana, you said 920. Oh, did they write that down already? No, I didn't. Okay. Have I done the training with Booking Koala with you guys already? That's what I thought. Okay. Because somebody had asked, sent a DM about Booking Koala. Okay. But can we go over pricing? Okay, we can definitely do that. Pricing, like how to price in general or how to price on Booking Koala? And if you guys have any other systems or platforms, no matter if we already went over it, if you guys have any questions, please, please, please ask. Um, that way, you know, you guys are taking full advantage of this additional week. So I want you guys to ask all the things, okay? So pricing, um, and you know what? I just, pricing. So with the pricing, you guys, um, it's a situation to where there is really no like actual pricing calculator, you know, I mean, for residential cleaning, the pricing, uh, the price range is going to be different depending on what area that you service. Right. So for example, um, I service the suburbs of like North of Dallas. Right. But I would not be able to take my prices and go service South Dallas. I would not be able to go service East of Texas. Like you know, in the state, I would not be able to go serve West Texas with these same price points. So that's why I always, um, on booking call. Okay. That's why I always recommend that. I always recommend that you do your research on finding like five to 10 different companies, checking out their price points. They're not going to dictate your price points, but that way you can have an understanding of what you can be charging. Also, not just looking at their price points, but also looking to see what type of quality their website is. Do they have offer instant booking? Um, uh, instant booking, or, you know, or, or is it regular old school with like having to do an estimate or call in for a quote or email a quote? Take all of those different things into consideration for pricing. So when you're pricing out your services on Booking Koala, you're going to go to settings right over here tap this arrow, you're going to go to industries, tap this arrow, house cleaning, and then you're going to go to forms. So forms is where you're going to be filling out all of your pricing. So if you're doing frequencies, this is like, you know, your weekly, bi-weekly, and monthly. If you're going to offer a discount for those services, weekly is typically 20%. Um, Bi-weekly is 15 and monthly is 10. But like I mentioned, those can be changed. If you want to, you don't want to have those price points, you can change them. Um, let me go back to service categories, pricing perimeter. So pricing is going to be where like the meat of your pricing. Now, if you're using Booking Koala, um, they already have a like a, a simple price structure in here, but you can change the price points. And basically how you calculate your prices is they have bedrooms. So it goes off of how many bedrooms are in the home, how many bathrooms are in the home and the square footage. This right here is for like, if you're trying to have like little one-off services, like just like if somebody just wants a kitchen, if somebody just wants a half bathroom. So like for partial cleaning, okay? now. Basically, what you would do when you're trying to figure out if the pricing matches up, you're just going to add it up. So let's say for here, right? The one bedroom with one bedroom or where is it at? One bedroom is 90, is 109, right? Then plus the one bathroom. So that's 119. And if the home is 1,000 to 1,500 square feet, 119, uh, one. 29, 39, so 139 would be your one bedroom, one bath price. If after you calculate that all up and that does not fit within your price range, then you'll just come over here to options and edit and then change the dollar amount. 
be like, okay, I don't want it to be that. I need it to be. Okay, hold on. My laptop is going slow. And then press save. So now your price point, I don't even remember that dollar amount, but now it's $5 more, right? And you're just going to just toddle with it and just play with the numbers until everything lines up with how much you want to charge. But all of these price points can be customized and changed. Here is also like the predicted estimated time per job. Then somebody's asked a question like what happens if somebody asks how long the job should be? Or maybe that was in the VIP group. But they also even kind of give you like a rough estimate of how much the job should be per the size of the home. Let me know, do you have any questions about that? So, uh, so then when we can have expenses, so then when we can add expenses to everything after we price the cleaning, et cetera. Oh, I'm so sorry, say that, say that one more time for me. So this is how you would do your pricing. And you guys, there are additional forms. I don't want to mess up. I don't want to mess up. Um, uh, let me see how I can show you. shoot <laughs> all the expenses we add into the price so um yes yeah, so all the expenses you already like pre-add into the price um the only thing that's not added is the tax so if you are wanting to charge tax or you're in a state that you can charge charge taxes for then you can add tax so that way you'll list the service the full service price and then you'll have your tax amount and then they'll get like the full amount so it'd be like service price, subtotal, and then total price after taxes. Did that answer your question? Like a certain percentage, like, like for your, like with your cleaners getting paid, I'm so sorry. Maybe I'm had, a, it's been a long day. I'm so sorry that I'm not understanding your question. So do you mean like with, okay. So with the cleaners percentage, is that what you're saying? With the cleaners percentage, that would be changed here. Uh, store options. Okay, I answered it. Okay, good. <laughs> Does anybody have any other questions on booking Koala? On Zoom, anybody have any other questions? Okay, so I'm going to go and move to Gusto. Has everybody set up their Gusto? Or let me first ask that. Has everybody set up their ghost Gusto? Please drop in the chat if, if you guys have not set up your Gusto yet. And remember, your Gusto is basically like your HR platform to where you would be paying your cleaners out on. And then it's also the same platform that will be handling your... 1099s at the end of the year, or if you have employees, your W-2s. No, no, have not. Okay. So let's move to Gusto. We will go over Gusto. Okay. Let me prepare that screen. And if you guys have any questions while I'm preparing that screen, please ask. Does everybody have the Gusto link to sign up with? I will post, I will, I will repost it in the group. I don't. You don't? Okay. Let me, well, I'm, this is I do out. not also. Have not set up Gusto. Okay. But yeah, so as soon as you guys, 
typically how my process looks as soon as I you know, know that I'm hiring somebody and I bring somebody on, I'm sending them the Gusto link. Um, I, I will type in their information. I'm going to show you right now. Um, I type in their information and then um, it will send them an email for them to finish filling it out. That's where they'll put like their social or if they want to work as their business, they can also put in their EIN number um, and then they'll put in their bank account information. And I also want to make sure like when you guys sign up for Gusto, if you are choosing to use contractors, then they have uh, a W-2 option and they have a contractor option. Make sure that you only sign up for the contractor option if you're not going to do W-2. Okay, I just put the link and I, I will post it again as well in the group later, but I just post the link. So with that link, once you... Did you get it? I, let me, I think I, did I drop it in the right chat? <laughs> Not yet, I was planning to get Gusto set up once I'm having it, my solid cleaners, perfect. Do you, Sherry, do you have a projected goal launch date? So with this link, after you pay your first, uh, your first contractor, you will get a $100 gift card. Um, I wanted to partner with, so like all of the, uh, like links that I provide, I try to always get like some kind of partnership where like they will give a discount or a free trial or a gift card. So this one was really nice. They're going to give us a hundred dollar gift card when you sign up. And then like, if you guys use the thumbtack, if you guys use the thumbtack, um, uh, link too, you will get a $50 credit on your profile. So like your first couple leads you get will be free because you'll get a $50 credit. Okay, so I'm using an old account. At first, I was trying to practice this yesterday. Um, I was trying to see like if there's a way I could like create like a dummy account in a sense to show you guys a full process, um, but it wouldn't allow me to because it needed too much information. So I'm just gonna just kind of walk and guide you through it. Um, so let me go to the website so I can show you their pricing options. Cause you wanna make sure when you sign up, you scroll down to the bottom. So like these are their, you know, premium packages with like W2, right? Now they do have W2 and 1099. So like I mentioned, if you want these additional features then you can totally do this as well. Um, and then you'll pay that monthly price plus $6 per person. But if you're doing just contractors, then it's only going to be $6 per person. So let's say, for example, you have four contractors, but maybe only two worked. Then you're only going to be paying for the contractors that you actually pay for. Okay. So this is their, their options. And then like these are the features that you get. Um, it says that your 1099s at the end of the year, which I love because my first year having a, first of all, I didn't even know I had to do it. I was late. <laughs> I was glad like nobody like called or anything. I'm having to calculate everything up. It was such a headache, such a headache. Um, so this is the features that you will get. Now, when you add people to here, let's say after you sign that up, right, they're going to ask for your basic information, your, all your business phone number, email, website, all of that good stuff, your EIN number, your bank account that you want to have your payroll set up from. Um, and then um, after you get all that set up and they approve your account, then this will be your homepage, okay? And basically you will be able to add people. Um, let me see this, for, yes. So you'll go to payroll and you will pay contractors, okay? Now I tried to like do a test on this to see if it'll let me, this is the, this is, if you guys can see up here, see, this is Dallas Upscale Cleaning. This was like my very, very, very first one. And they locked me out because I don't utilize this one no more. So I can't really run the payroll, but uh, you go to pay contractors, right? So when you're paying the contractors on Gusto, I think I saw somebody ask a question and they was asking, does, how do you pay your contractors? Because Gusto and Booking Koala doesn't, don't speak to each other. So how you do that, let me share the screen since we're already on this topic. Um, let's see. How you would do that is you would go to Booking Koala, right? And you will be able to see all the jobs your cleaners did. 
you'll be able to see all the jobs your cleaners did. And then you calculate that total amount. And then you go over to booking, um, you go over to Gusto and you just type in that whole amount. So it's not like a situation to your life thing like, oh, Monday she worked, you know, and got paid $100. Wednesday she got paid $200. Thursday she got paid $300, right? It's just the whole thing. So it would just be like cleaner $400, okay? I'm trying to show you where you would see um, your cleaner's pay. Let me see. Is it the contractor one? If, if so, I have five cleaners. I just only pay $6 per month and then we'll be able to do the direct deposit and they send out the 1099s for the con. Yes. Now I'm not sure if, because I have the W-2 and contractor plan. So I'm not sure if, I'm not sure if, because I know that they had like an add-on feature. I think I think for them to send out the 1099s like automatically is like an additional $3 charge per person. But if you want to like actually mail it out, then they will make the 1099 for you like the whole tax looking form and you just press print and then you go mail them out. So that way it's free. Uh, I'm, like I said, I'm not 100% sure on that part because I know things have changed with them but it's still it's still really because you're not having to do all of that calculations it, even if it's just a printout and a mail or if you're just paying additional three dollars you know per per one for them to automatically send out but like I said I'm not even sure on that so I would I would definitely like they do like a chat customer service and you can ask them that I'm not sure I said they have like a chat customer service um, that you can, she was this password, that, and you can ask them that. I would definitely recommend asking them because they would probably know way more about like all of their, their features and add-ons.